Hey, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you a drill that you can do all by yourself out on the courts to work on taking the ball on the rise. Taking the ball on the rise just simply means making contact with the ball as it's on its way up from the bounce. Now, the easiest way to hit the ball on a forehand or a backhand ground stroke is to wait for the ball to get to the top of its bounce, then start coming down again, and then make contact hopefully around your strike zone, you know, around waist height. But oftentimes, taking the ball on the rise has a lot of really big benefits. You know, just a couple of examples of times when you could take balls on the rise. Um, when, you're on the, when you're on the baseline and receiving a big shot, a strong, deep shot that lands deep in the courts, a lot of times it's easiest to take it on the rise as opposed to backing all the way back up to the fence to try to maybe hit it on its way back down again if you have time. Also against a pusher or against somebody who in general just kind of hits a lot of loopy, you know, moon balls that land deep in the courts, taking those shots on the rise takes time away from your opponents and allows you to be more offensive without even necessarily hitting the ball harder or more aggressively. So huge to be able to do this and basically I'm just going to be dropping balls to myself. And typically when somebody you know, would practice their forehand or their backhand, they would come up here to the baseline, let the ball drop, um, let the ball come up from the bounce, start to come down again, and then they would hit it. So it would look like this. So bounce, down. So you're, you're hitting the ball on its way back down from that first bounce. That's just kind of the, you know, the standard way of hitting a ground stroke, you know, both in rallies and if you were to drop a ball to yourself. Now, to practice taking the ball on the rise, it's really about finding a specific rhythm. Rather than boom, boom, bounce, hit, it's boom, boom. They're like right next to each other. So on this next one, I'm gonna toss the ball the same height, but this time I'm gonna time my swing much earlier so that I'll make contact as the ball is coming off the court, meaning it's still rising from the bounce, I'm not waiting for it to start coming down again. So here's a standard one again. Boom, boom. Now here's what I'm gonna take on the rise. Listen for the difference. So it's boom, boom, right, right next to each other. Boom, boom. Let me hit a couple more just so that I'm sure you hear the difference. Again, here's the <laughs> pocket malfunction. Here's the uh, standard one. Boom, boom. Here's on the rise, boom, boom. So this is an easy way that you can get a feel for the rhythm of hitting on the rise. And that's really, really what separates most, most people from really getting this is they just don't get the feel of the rhythm of the shot. The quick boom, boom is what it takes to really hit on the rise well. This goes for forehand or backhand. That does it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, do me a favor and click like if you're watching on Facebook. Also subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all the lessons that I come out with. And if you have any comments or questions at all about anything that you learned today, please feel free to leave those down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon.